Hello and welcome. Today we're here to talk about ramps. No, not those ramps. I mean ramps in electronics. So, what is a ramp in electronics? Basically, a ramp is a function generator that increases its voltage output up to a specific value. Here we have a motor which is connected to the EM174 motor controller unit, an oscilloscope and a power supply. For example, when you apply a battery or supply power directly to a motor, there is a large surge of current as the motor gets up to speed. This results in the motor being thrown into rapid acceleration as it immediately tries to reach its maximum speed. When the motor is running normally, it takes about 1 amp. An amp or ampere is the unit used to measure electric current. Current is a count of the number of electrons flowing through a circuit. Each square in the oscilloscope measures 5 amps. So in total, when starting the motor, it can take as much as 15 amps or more when not using a ramp. This will stress the device's mechanics and its power supply and eventually even cause damage to both of them. So, when a ramp is applied, the motor accelerates at a controlled pace without experiencing a sudden surge of current, as is shown by the oscilloscope. Compared to the last time when a ramp was not used, you can see a dramatic decrease in the amount of amps it consumes. When you turn the ramp up to 3 seconds, there is almost no difference compared to how many amps the motor takes up in normal use. The acceleration is not only controlled by the operator turning the switches, but there is also a specific acceleration rate already built in to the controller. The same mechanics also apply to the deceleration ramp which enables the motor to slow down at a controlled pace. The use of a ramp is especially important when the motor changes direction from forwards to backwards or the other way around. Now the ramp is applied. Notice how the motor changes direction much smoother than before. The ramp allows the motor to smoothly change directions without a sudden surge of current. Those were the basics of how an electronic ramp functions. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.